Hey guys, um, today I decided to do uh, a um, a review on my first uh, O gauge train set, the Lionel four four two New York Central Flyer freight set, made in nineteen ninety three, and it's about nineteen years old, so it's one age older than me. Uh, um. My mom, a friend of my mom's, actually gave me this set when I was 12. Um, I was talking about getting subway trains, uh, subway train sets, and uh, he said that, "Oh, I have a train set that I that I could probably give to him because I don't use because uh, I don't use it anymore." And the ironic thing is that the day that I go to pick it up, he decides to run it. So when we call him, he was like in the middle of using it. And so we had to wait like about an hour for him to come downstairs because he had to pack everything up properly. I'm like, oh wow, what a coincidence. I guess he wanted to give it a good run in his house because he's saying goodbye to a, a good a good toy. Even though it's funny, he's not really one to ke ke have stuff like that. Trust me, if you saw his apartment at that time, you would you would see why I'm saying that. Um... Why it's off the track? Because see it better. Because I'm trying to show you something later. Um, this set I've actually um damaged myself. Seeing I was little at the time, uh, the cow catcher is was busted. Um, I've glued it millions of times. It's glued right now. Luckily, you can't see it that well, but uh, because I don't want to ruin. The fun here that much. Um, they still say Lionel. That says Lionel on the side. I don't think. I don't think trains still. I don't think they still do that. I think they still do it on their flyer. On their. On their four four twos. I'm not sure anymore. Unless they say Lionel lines, but other than that, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the train is nice. It, um, it's actually not bad detail. Those trains back in the day had, they had it good. Um, anyone who grew up with the with the classics from either post-war or even the 90s, uh, yeah, you you had it good. And if it's still good today, good, a little taken care of. Um, I actually, uh, uh this is a response actually to what. To a guy that has the similar engine as mine, except he's a, his is a later version. Um, his version doesn't have this anymore, and the boxes. That's when they started to become looking like that right there. The if you could see the orange. <laughs> if you could see it, it, they started looking a little bit like this. They started coming out big and orange. And uh, as you can see, I have three sets, and this is the Flyers set. Recognize this design. They don't make boxes like this anymore. The 90s, this is where it used to look like. It was a 027 gauge uh, with tubular track, which actually were very dirty, so I had no way of restoring the, shine, the cleanness of the, of the shininess of the rails. It came with these three cars. They're on... They're on the they're on the train, but uh, they have additional freight attached to it. See, here's the here's the green box car. Here's the green box car, and uh, and here's the flat car, which is actually a little busted. Uh, long story. I don't even remember how that happened. I think I stepped on one of these by mistake. And uh, the caboose, which is missing, whatever this is called, uh, the back coupler is busted. Um, so the flat car with the police car, and the box car, and the yellow box car, is added. I got, I got those out of train show. The flat car for twenty. This one was actually the best deal I've ever seen on a train. Five dollars this box car cost. Five dollars. And it's in 
mint, pretty much mint condition. I mean, I don't know about mint because it inside it's a little, it's metal, so it's a little rusty. Well, it's not coated. It's not like color coated. I think. I actually, I think it is. But you know, yeah. And it's that, yeah, it's it's well made. Um. I I'm I don't know how old they are. I, I'm assuming this thing is old. I don't know what I don't know what the box cars look like today, as opposed to you know back in the day. So whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. So it's a nice train. Uh, it's still good on me. Although I not only were the was the cow catcher a bust. But, real quick, because I want to have time to run this thing a little bit. Uh, the, the smoke unit. The smoke unit, if you could see it, right here. Right here is the smoke unit. Right here, a uh, piece of it, and this wire. I don't know if you can see it, but this wire here. Uh, okay, this the wire that you see. This little metal dot here that you see right here. I had to fix that piece myself. I had to glue it. That part of the unit myself. And this unit is actually a new version because it, 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 I had it replaced. And there you go. And I glued a wire because it broke out after falling off a table. And no, the cow catcher did not break off at that time. That happened later on. It was the smoke unit that did that first. And I glued it back on and then it started to smell like it was burning. And the guy at Hobby Shot said, don't run it then. But I eventually got it to smell better somehow. I glued the wire back. I guess it was busted. I don't remember. I think I glued it back properly. I put it back in a proper position so that way um, the electricity wouldn't make everything smell like it was burning. And I got it to work and now it smokes very well. Um, now that I use MTH smoke fluid I guess. Um, and I think whenever you put out a high voltage, it's always going to come out better. Um, they j it generally comes out better than the trains that smoke that with the smoke units now because the smoke unit, the the heating source, the heating. I think whatever, what I think whatever gives it the heat to do it. Um, someone online tell me they it, they don't smoke that well. So like the blue, the Polar Express, which is the box I showed, which was actually the box I showed you. Um, the very big one was it doesn't it doesn't smoke unless I put it full blast and that that's really annoying at least this I could run it at a low voltage see like I mean I could put it at like 50 miles 50 scale miles or 50 volts whatever I'm not really sure what the volts measure are on this on this 80 watt but I could use it at this speed and it would still, and it would smoke great. It has great smoke. And cheers to Lionel for making such awesome, some good classics. If I put a high voltage, it would smoke even better. But I, if I run it too fast, it's just going to crash on me. Sometimes do this. The only problem right now is that the whistle sometimes won't work. So, but you know, it's old train. I'm not surprised. Uh, I think, I don't know how much it cost back in the day, but I think it cost about close to $200 at the time when it came out in 93, so I'm not really sure, 
So, I mean, hey, if you want to try to look for it, um, try looking online. I'm sure. I mean, I don't know how many people own this set in particular, but I'm sure someone online does. Yeah, see, the old classes are fast. I have a ride video where the, my camera's, my phone camera's on this thing, so. Uh, so, um, you get an idea of what the speed is like. So, I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, hey, um, you know, if you want a good runner, try to go for the classics. They're usually good. Um, the post-war, I know it's not post-war, but thing is with post-war is that they don't use the fluid smoke fluid they used smoke pellets so they're like they were like little they're like kind of like little pill looking things like pellets like rock pellets like you use in a fishbowl and you would drop it in and then it would heat up and then that's what gives the smoke so if you were to buy a post-war engine in the in a train show uh uh this would um, it you would have to buy a pack a, a bottle of smoke pe pellets. So, so yeah, that's the way it goes. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and take care. Let me know what you think. Yeah.